needed. Yes, I'm talking before I'm supposed to be talking, but welcome back to Sister Circle <laughs> Live. Whether you like it or not, listen, it is cold and flu season, but there's nothing more than a soothing, healing cup of hot soup, which I need right now. And to, here to anoint us with some healing powers of her vegetable soup is the beautiful Chef Aki. Hey, Chef, Sister please Sarah. help us sister out. Like, it was a struggle <laughs> for me to read through that. Yes. I hope that people hurt me, but I'm Bless so happy that heart. you're here to help I'm so heal me. I'm always happy to be here with you guys. So what do you have today? Well, I got what's some so special about your soup. vegetables. I'm going to hook you up today, Miss Quad. So I need it. I've got a what I call mommy's nourishing soup. Mm. And I call it that because it's actually uh, one of the recipes in my latest book, Superfoods for the Modern Baby. The babies are modern these days, too. Yes, Everybody's of course. Modern. They want the superfoods, right? So this is for mommies, infants, and toddlers, and mothers to be. Oh, I right? like that. So this. it'll so take you through that whole phase of nourishing yourself. Yeah. So this is a nourishing soup that I made when me and my son took a trip and we both got sick. Oh, wow. And we both caught the flu. And it just happened again this season where everybody in my house is sick. Yeah. So I had to crank out the seaweed soup. This is really nourishing because it's got all the vitamins and minerals from wakame. So I just want to walk you through these ingredients, Ms. Quad. If you could actually dump that on yeah, in next. We're going to make this soup is, right here. here? So we're gonna, now that is a seaweed called wakame. It's full wakame. of vitamins and full of minerals. So you, when you get sick, you don't want to eat, but you still need to be nourished yes. to get your strength up. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So that's very important. If you could put some scallions in oh, there I love for scallions. me. That's We're going to give it some flavor. Love that. We're going to throw in a little bit of ginger. Okay. And what does the ginger help do in terms now, of Ginger sickness? is so important. It's going to really help with your lungs. We're just going to put half of that in there. Okay, there we go. There we okay. Go. It's, it's good for the lungs. Mm -hmm. it's, go, it's good for your entire bronchial system. It's yes. going to flush out all that mucus. Yes, very, very important. Right right now. Yes, we need that. We're going <laughs> to add some zucchini. I'm going to turn my flame up just a little bit. Okay. And we're going to add some zucchini to that. Again, mm -hmm. we want some nourishment, a little bit of onion powder. Okay. We're going to add uh, something really amazing called dulse. Again, another seaweed. This is a seaweed seasoning mm. that kind of gives your soup almost like um, an Asian type of flavor, okay. like almost like a fishy flavor, like if you would use fish sauce. Yeah. So it's almost like making a, but a not ramen. As, but not as salty. Not as strong or salty. No. Yeah. No. Sometimes that fish sauce can be a little salty. I it love is. it, though, but it can't be salty. It is. Now, this is uh, coconut aminos. You know I always uses yes, instead of soy sauce mm -hmm. and I add a little bit of sesame oil and some lime okay and that's really it that's all yeah, now I like to, to How long dress do you it up. This, for? this only takes about 10 minutes to stew up. And if you want to really like make it a little more hearty, you can mm -hmm. by adding in, I like bok choy. Oh, I love bok choy. I'm going to throw a little bit of bok choy in there. And then I also. I got you. I got you, I got you quite. <laughs> I appreciate it. But I'm it. also going to put some um, noodles in there just to kind of give us a little bit of heartiness. Okay. Now these are kamut noodles because you really want to stay away from starches while you're yeah. sick. So this doesn't have all that gluten in it. So now, we're Tell add me some about of that in, there. in terms of uh, the content of fat with mm. those noodles, because you yeah, know you're I, not gonna I was get juicing the fat. all last week and I you're not lost gonna... four pounds. Oh no! Well, we uh, listen. I got sick recently and I lost about two pounds, and I kind of enjoyed that. Mm. But now I want to put it all back on. So you're not gonna get a lot of fat from these noodles, but you are gonna get a lot of nourishment. Okay, you're not good. gonna get the starch. So do we go ahead and put some of those in? Yeah, actually, we can put some of that in now. Okay. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of this bok choy, Let me see this and we'll be ready to go. Yeah. And you can, honestly, for adults, I would add a little bit of cayenne pepper to oh, it. Oh, I love that. You can add um, a little turmeric to it if mm. you want, which is wonderful as well. And I honestly, um, if my son is like really restless, I'll add a little bit of CBD oil to it. Now, I don't know if everybody's starting to use CBD, but in my household, we are using really high quality CBD. And I've been in the lab, you guys, ever since I released this book. And I am working with some phenomenal people on getting some high quality CBD oil in the kitchen. All so right. stay tuned for that. Okay. I, CBD, <laughs> CBD oil, see me. CBD oil Hello. in the kitchen, yes. Just to help with it, just relaxation and anxiety, yes. which yes. I think we all experience. Yes. And when you're sick, you just want to rest. So actually, CBD is great for insomnia. Mm. It's wonderful just to help you to relax. So I've also been using that in my all culinary right. stuff. And you give it to the baby. Yes, all absolutely. Right, you can. It is safe to that do is so. A modern baby, I gotta tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it is. So we'll throw a little bok choy in there, and all this right. will just be done in about five oh, minutes. Why, why is it that soup? soothes us so much when we're sick or not feeling well or even when it's like winter time. It's just something warm, right? Yeah, it just feels good on your throat. I you need know, it. and you're getting all the vitamins and minerals that you need Smells without so good, overdoing it and getting making yourself feel more heavy. It's just so nourishing. If you put the right things in it, it's going to do the trick and get you well. But also, you can add herbs. You can even start to add different things like citrus.
citrus fruits, mm. um, grapefruit juice is really wonderful as well. And you can also just really get hydrated as much as possible while you're sick. Rest, Come get on, hydrated, on, maybe noodles. steam. Those things can really help. So oh. stay well during this, this season, you guys. I was going to add more noodles, and I'm like, wow, you really need the broth. So don't yes, do that. Don't so, do too much with the noodles. Can I go ahead and plate this now? Yeah, you can. That looks oh, look really at, good. Look at how nice this is. And you see how the seaweed just kind of took on all oh that my broth? Oh, God, yes. Nice. That's beautiful. It. Yeah. And I'm going to let everybody have a taste of this. It's so good. <laughs> I wanna, I'm going to get up just a little bit more broth. Awesome. Just because I need it in my life. Yes. And it smells so amazing. A little pinch of salt. A little pinch of salt. Okay, a little Himalayan situation. A little, little pinch of Himalayan salt. Okay. <laughs> now I'm going to just truly drink this awesome. as if I would if I was in an Asian restaurant. <laughs> I'm going to taste it like this. Let me know what you think. Absolutely amazing. I feel better already. Awesome. <laughs> I just really want the soup. Anyway, check out the love you so thank much. You so much thank you so much for coming back. We thanks for having me. We appreciate you with this amazing soup and many other delicious recipes. You want to follow her on social media at Chef Aki.